So if you've ever been mucking about doing some open feeding on your hives, don't do open feeding if you're living in the city because all you're going to be doing is feeding all the neighbours bees and all the wild bees and God knows who else bees everywhere. But if you happen to be out in the middle of nowhere a bit like me, sometimes open feeding can be the go. If you've, if you've got all your hives are roughly the same strength, you're going to get away with it. It's just an emergency thing sometimes. Now I've made plenty of open feeders. I've made 20 litre buckets and I've had them full of corks and then the ladies get in there. But one thing I've noticed when they get to the bottom and they've basically finished all the food, then they all get the shits up and they start fighting with each other. So, and you end up with like some dead bees in the bottom of your bucket and amongst the corks and it's not terribly effective. Of course you can get a pot and you get the straw and you can do all of that carry on. But I've found the same thing there, they get angry at the end. So I've come up with another idea that this is kind of going to be an inversion bucket feeder. But my plan is that I'm going to make a, an inversion bucket feeder. So I'm actually going to get this organised and use this little lip so as the girls can come and get their nectar out of this little lip here. And then hopefully when they run out of stuff, they'll all just sort of wander around and not beat the shit out of each other and have a big box on. So that's my plan. Now, obviously not every bucket is suitable. So I've discovered along this journey, but these particular, I don't know, anyway, you go to your shop and check this shit out. You want a nice broad lip that they girls can, that they actually get the nectar they can sit in. I could, sh hang on, I'll show you a bucket that won't work. Hold on. This bucket would probably work, but it's got a very narrow little lip that is just, which is the reinforcing strip part. And so I've ruled them out and I've said, nope, off you go, they're gonna not get used. So that's the culling, the culling session of the bucket making. So these ones got the tick, these ones got a cross. Well, you wouldn't believe it to be so involved, would you, just with a bucket? Now the next thing I want to do is we need to have to take the handle off because if you don't take the handle off, when you're trying to implement this viscosity deal, you're going to have all your nectar and juice or whatever you're putting in this bucket run out your handle hole. The other thing that I've discovered along this little bit of excitement, get a black texture and mark where the bloody handle is because when, when you do the, you will know why you do this on the next stage. I'm not gonna, oh, I'm gonna leave some mystery. So you'll have to keep watching to find out why we do this bit. So now we want to cut our handles off because that's all part of the project. So I'm going to use my angle grinder. I haven't got any safety glasses in the shed. Put your safety glasses on before you do this, okay, if you're out there. what we could do with that. Would that be made anything useful with that? Probably not. <laughs> <sighs> Ow! Fuck! Don't play with them just yet. That's hot. So now we want a little drill. So we're going to find ourselves a small little drill from our drill pot. I think about two and a half mil I think I used. But you know I don't think it's highly technical that part. <laughs> Fun bit with little drills is getting it straight. Now one good trick to find out, unless you're really motivated and you want to draw a line inside this bucket, if you get the sun so it's coming through your door, you can actually see where you want to drill. So you don't have to draw any lines, you've just got a nice little black line, thanks to the sun. But feel free to draw a line if you want to. So the goal is we're going to drill, a, we're going to drill some holes. Obviously you're going to, this, as I was saying, you got the, no, I don't say as I was saying. You can see the line that you, so you basically, you got to make sure you drill up a little bit because we're going to rely on viscosity not to let the, is it viscosity? Anyway, we're going to, I think it's viscosity, we're going to rely on that not to let it run over the top when we turn it upside down. So you're just going to, we're going to drill a hole in every opening except where the handle of the tap is because that is not ideal, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Don't do that, okay? Just, just as a footnote. <laughs> I can't quite see my line as well as I'd like because I've got a light on my drill. And there's my other X now. The only reason I put an X there is because the first time I did this, I drilled a hole where I didn't want it because I didn't have my little spot. <laughs> of course, you can choose any size drill you like. I just thought two and a half mil sort of worked. And depending on your bucket design, you probably don't have to drill this many holes, but I kind of thought it worked because we've got all these little, all these little seams that we want to keep separate. 
Get your plastic out. Now, probably the only next exciting part is you've got to put a little bit of silicon in the holes where your handles were. Otherwise, it'll run, the shit will run straight out of there. That shouldn't be too big a worry because you've got enough lips in every pot, but this is just a little bit of extra security. Now, the fun part about this is I can't find my silicon gun there. That should not surprise anybody. So I've got some old silicon in a tube. Take the cap off because that's full of very hard silicon, so nothing's coming out of there. And that's a couple of years old. And so then I've got a very excitable screwdriver, which I'm going to use as my silicon gun. And you want to just put your mouth of your... If you had a silicon gun, which would be much more effective, just put your tube over the hole, get it lined up and just give it a little squeeze, pump, pump, or push, push with this in this situation. And you just want it to go through the hole a little bit more. Kill. Get one this side. <gasps> Shit, if I can hold it still. And that was nearly perfect. I think we just finished that tube off. So now I'll get my get a new tube. And when I buy a new tube, I'll have to buy a new gun because I don't know where the hell it is. So I just get my screwdriver and just push the silicon back against the wall of the bucket. This outside wall, not the bucket itself, because that's what you're trying to seal that hole off. Of course, if you got real excited, you can put some slippery ass stuff on your screwdriver so that it doesn't stick to it. Just push it against there. Just a little bit of loving so you fill that hole in. And all we got to do now is wait for the silicon to set. And presto. I'm just thinking I'm going to go and get myself a stump to sit this bucket upside down on so it's not on the ground. You don't want to put your bucket actually on the dirt because that could be a bit weird. So I'm going to do some reconnaissance. <laughs> a spider stump over here. These stumps were too hard for me to cut up for my mum's fire. So <laughs> that's why they're still here. The bloody things are too hard to crack. Or I'm too weak, one of the two. I suppose in the grand scheme of things we could just put in a bucket here anyway, but that would defeat the purpose for the shot. That would be oh, that would be extra lazy, wouldn't it? Oh my goodness. How come I gotta carry all the heavy stuff? Wear out the old bloke first, didn't it? <laughs> oh god. Tell you what, no need to go to the gym. I feel like one of those blokes with a big ball, isn't it, when they... No, crap. I've seen those fellas. They've got big muscles. <laughs> oh! Uh. How the hell do they do that, those Iron Men, when they run up the hill with those great big balls and shit? <sighs> that was about 10 feet. <laughs> God. Well, I suppose they train. Me, I'm only a beekeeper. I'm not meant to be a bloody muscle man, am I? Uh, that's enough cheek out of you, too. So the plan is, we're going to tip our syrup in our bucket, then we're going to tip our bucket up on our stump, and we're going to find out whether we make a mess. Uh, this could be good, could be shit, we're going to find out together in a minute. Good gracious me. Uh, uh, in theory it should work. <laughs> Maybe I'll just stop now and say, just go home and make this and send me a picture, okay? <laughs> Oh, it'll suck if this is a crap idea. <laughs> oh. oh! Of course, we added our hive alive to this liquid as well, so the girls are going, Hello, look at that! Look at them, they're on the bucket already! <laughs> hey, hey, just wait! Wait a minute! <laughs> then we just make sure it's on nice and firm. Hell, I hope that's the right lid. Did we bring the right lid? <laughs> the right bucket? What is that doing? Shit, John. I swear that's the right lid for that bucket. It doesn't seem to quite be working right. Hang on. This <laughs> is like a little ride at the show. <clears throat> right, maybe that's how it works. Putting lid on. Let's see. Push down firmly around the lid's edge and place lid. What? Place the lid on the bucket. I wonder who writes these instructions. Putting lid on. It says, place the lid on the bucket. I can't believe it. Instructions for putting the lid on is put the lid on the bucket. Anyway, God bless us. That's brilliant. And don't forget to push the lid down to make sure the lid's actually on the bucket that you're trying to put it on. I mean, that's crazy. Anyway, bless us. 
Good God, who writes this shit up? Anyway, we're going to tip it upside down. It's obviously going to leak a little bit before it seals itself off. This is pretty clever. I'm making fun of the people with the instructions on the bucket lid, but some of you didn't drill holes in this one. This was the one I actually did just to get the silicon to go hard, and I brought the wrong one with no holes in it. I think that's an F on the report card, just right there. No wonder that lid was being a bit contrary. Okay! Anyway, <laughs> the bees are enjoying the empty bucket. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Does that mean we've got to go home and get the right thing? I don't think that's quite the perfect lid either, somehow. Don't die, everybody! <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> get out! <laughs> oh, come on, you big bully. Good grief. You big meaty bum. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> Man. I don't know. Oh, all the best laid plans. You can see we script this show bloody perfectly, can't you? <laughs> Oi, are you still here? <laughs> now, just remember not to drill a bloody hole where the, where the handles were, because I haven't even got that X marked in here. Ah, oh, man alive! Are we ready? About there? Yep. <laughs> Ridiculous. This is where we were three hours away from somewhere. We were going to drive down to the, to the proper big apiary and do this. Wow, that would have been fun. We would have got there and we wouldn't have even had a drill. I'm sure the cameraman would have gone hardy ha ha. <laughs> I'm very amused, father. We would have had to drive to the nearest hardware store and buy another bloody battery drill that I technically don't need. <laughs> think might be good might be shit that was definitely shit but anyway we're on to the next part <laughs> where there's a will there's a way <laughs> golly gosh Arrgh. you realize if the cameraman editor wasn't a wasn't such a demon for the truth nobody would know that actually just happened then would they but you're going to get to see the warts and all <sighs> i wonder if i could bribe him <laughs> nah well, let's just, just pretend and we'll start again. <laughs> I'm thinking we're going to put the bucket on a stump over here, so, so as it's not on the ground. <laughs> it's just my vain attempt that maybe he won't show the other mishap that I just had. But now I've shot myself in the foot because I've just said I've had a mishap and you kind of want to know what that was. Part two. <laughs> Thank you, girls. I know you're keen. There you go, mate. Oh, hang on. Put the put the liquid in first. <laughs> Got all excited. <laughs> Got all distracted. Bloody hell. <laughs> Just going to stand here for a minute and compose myself. <laughs> oh, I think you're just very mean. Very... Get out, girls, get out. You can have some in a minute. <laughs> But a big reveal, here we go. Okay. That looks more effective, at least it came out. <laughs> I was just looking at this and thinking I might as well bloom and make it a hole feeding station. Perhaps I could put a bucket with some holes in the bottom for the pollen substitute as well, and then they could just all have a festival at the same spot. Hell, that might be another episode, but I haven't even tried that out yet, so. You know, why not? This is raw footage. Shit, some bloke can't even drill holes in this bucket. But anyway, here we go. Anyway, I think all in all that's reasonably successful. The girls have turned up already. But we have a little bit of mucking about to get ready for them. And my plan is that they can go in here and have a little drink, get their nectar, get it all juiced up, take it back home, and not have a big box on in the bottom of the buckets. Anyway, thanks for viewing. Don't forget, click like, subscribe, share us with your friends. Hell, even support us on Patreon.